Today, folks, I decided I would try uh, a 6S balance charge with my uh, high tech, my high tech uh, balance charger. So it's in B, which is I got on lipo, not lipo, lipo is in A, so B is my life FE. You can see that darn one stuck there. 3.6 so it'll it won't overcharge that cell because it's on a balance charge so I think I'll balance charge the first six and then balance charge the second six to see if I can level this pack right out and then we'll see where we go from there so I got as you can see <laughs> 6s lined up there I haven't got my bouncer on at the same time I don't know if there'd be a conflict or not I, sh I shut it off so anyway we'll see oh boy I can't focus where the darn we'll see what happens here I guess if I can bounce this pack out I will try again thanks for watching bye hey folks well I thought I would uh just try my other battery so I put I put my uh, eSmart batteries hooked them up straight on so it runs on them for a while then I decided I wanted to have a look at my A123 bus batteries because I thought I was losing capacity but I've checked them all and then they all show the same then I hooked up my my uh, charger been charging now for about an hour and will it focus anyway they were all at 331 dead on there we go now they've been charging a while so some of them are starting to take a charge then I'll have to re I got them all linked together so I don't really I know that the cell 1 to 6 will transfer over to this battery cell one to six because they're all linked together they that thing the charger thinks it's thinks it's uh one cell anyway it's not what i thought but i thought well i got it apart now i might as well do it these ones here were set off in 24 volts out of the 40 volt pack and i didn't tear it apart i just left the other 12 volts on the end it uh seems to have worked great when they're all linked like that, I think it keeps those other ones alive. Somehow, I guess, because they're all linked together. But uh, I didn't link those cell by cell, but they all have good voltages on them. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but that's the way it seems to be working. Anyway, I thought I'd just give you an update. It's raining today. Pulling a grand total of 300 watts. But that keeps me ahead. That keeps the lights on. That's about it. And my internet. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, there's my Make Sky Blue working there. 2056 watts. 131 volts. 16 amps the best I think I can ever get out of this would be 20 amps 120 volts times the 20 amps is 2400 more or less Which is what I got eight panel eight 300 watt panel. So This is pretty well all we're ever gonna get out of this baby, but she's doing a lot more than my 24 volt version does Because it's hemmed off at 1650 or whatever it is Anyway, just thought I'd let you see that I'm impressed. Charge is pretty good. I mean, the whole thing isn't much bigger than a box of Kleenex. It's smaller than a box of Kleenex. Not much bigger than my cell phone. <laughs> anyway, make sky blue. Thanks for watching. Well, YouTube might not be the prettiest thing in the world. I'm going to top her ends on yet, but it'll keep fingers out of there or anybody from falling up against it. I'll have to get the bottom one too, of course. 
anyway it's a start thanks for watching well youtubers I guess I'm going to take apart my 24 volt battery here Frank Z has uh, made my last uh, rack it's going to go right here where these batteries are not quite sure what I'm going to do for 24 volts now I think I'm just going to use those e-smarts under there they've been running it for a week now I've been testing it so I think I'll take this apart as you can see they were 40 volt batteries and I only took off 24 volts there at that aluminum bus bar it worked good now I guess we're going to find out whether I ruined the batteries or not but I think I can bring them back with the balancer and a charger and so if not I'll keep them as 24 volt I'll hook them up a different way but uh, it's raining again today we get a lot of rain so I'm only bringing in 435 watts batteries are right up there and I haven't been drawn much right now my uh, my dump loads on well no I guess it isn't on it just shut off <laughs> the Inverter hasn't calmed down yet. Still got the fan on. I thought it was still going, but it's been off and on today a little bit. There's my 120 volt inverter down there. I don't know what it's doing today. Doesn't say too much. Two bars on the battery. I'm charging up a battery. I got it run through the transformer for 110. I'm not charging this, just running the battery down on it. I decided to try this out. So I got three 40 volt batteries basically. I got them run in parallel. One, two, three, four, five of them in parallel. And then three of those. So I'm I put this uh, BMS board, the original one, back on what I believe to be one of the batteries, one of the 40 volt batteries. So it'll balance that five, five uh, tier battery there. So I put one on each one. Of course, this one's upside down because, you know, those five are turned over to make the 120 volts. It seems to be working. Uh, I had a few high ones. That we're at 3.65 and 3.7 in here so I put that board on and it all come back to 3.3 I'm gonna have to try charging it later to find out if this actually works but first shot at it looks like those boards work so I'm gonna leave them hook up there for a while because I can't afford a BMS right now and I, I don't use it hard yet until I figure it out so and then this battery, I got all the 20 gauge wire on to parallel all those batteries. All 16 of them are paralleled there to 40 volts. Get the bus bars on the top. I haven't got the one on the bottom yet. When my old body gets better and good enough to crawl under there, I'll put the last bus bar on. And then I'm going to charge that and balance it with my active balancer. So just an update. Things aren't going too fast here these days. The weather's finally improved though. This whole system here is only for heating hot water to heat my garage off of that up there. We'll see how that works later on next year. I'm just slow getting things put together. But, you know, I'm retired. What else have I got to do? My stepson sent me a battery for his lawnmower. <laughs> three 12 volt batteries it's a 36 volt lawnmower I don't know what kind it is but it just says cordless 36 volts so I'm gonna try and I may make a lithium battery out of this I'm not sure 
I'm just trying to see if I can save those batteries right now. It doesn't look like it. They're probably dead in a door now. I won't even run the charger. I put the charger on it to uh, 13 6. I don't quite focus. That's just your supply voltage, right? Let's see if I can pop anything into them so I can get them to run. So far, haven't had much luck. All right, folks. Just that's my update. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.